when the narcissist realizes it's game over. Maybe they discarded you and they found new supply, but they're not happy with their new supply. They're not doing what they want them to do and you're not willing to be their supply anymore. They may still try to hoover you. They may try to come back. They will remember the good times that you had. They will remember all of the good things you did for them. And they will realize that you are the one that got away. Because their new supply may not be so tolerant of the abuse. Maybe they're not willing to be the narcissist doormat or punching bag. But you were always there for them. You supported them. You tolerated things that most people would not tolerate. So it's very difficult for them to replace you. Because you gave everything you had. You did everything you could for them. And they will remember that. But they took advantage of you. They exploited you. They saw your kindness as a weakness. But when they did that, you still tried to give more. You still tried to help them until you finally had enough. You knew you had to move forward or maybe they discarded you, but they will look back. They will realize that they had something special. They will realize that they screwed it up because you were the best thing that ever happened to them. But they will try to distract themselves. They will try to find other sources of supply. But you were once their supply. So they will be thinking about you. Because they're always on the hunt for new sources. They're always seeking things they can't have. Because they're never satisfied. They have these insatiable desires that can never be fulfilled. When the narcissist realizes that it's game over. They will realize that you are the one that got away. They will realize that they've lost you. Because you've taken away their life source. Their fuel. Their narcissistic supply. Because you no longer admire them. You're no longer doing anything for them. So they will find other ways to get supply. They will devalue and degrade you. They will try to hurt you. Because it makes them feel alive. And they will find other sources of supply. They will have other people to take your place. To admire them. To support the illusion. But they will still try to keep you around to be their emotional punching bag. To be someone who they can treat badly. After they took you for granted. After they never took you seriously. Because they assumed that you would always be there. They never considered that you might not want to be with them if they treat you badly. But they're also afraid of abandonment. They don't want you to leave. But when you do leave, they will find other sources of supply. They will try to make your life hell. 
they will turn people against you. They will triangulate you with other people. They will try to make you jealous. They will try to get revenge. When the narcissist realizes it's game over, they're not going to accept it. They will bombard you with texts and phone calls. They will stalk and harass you. And they may try to get you back. They may try to love bomb you again because they want to keep you around. They're very greedy. They want to have multiple sources of supply. So they will try to get your attention. And if they can't do that by love bombing you, they may try to take you to court to show you that you can't leave so easily. But eventually, they will realize that the game is really over. And that is when they will really begin to struggle. But they're not going to feel any regret. They're not going to feel sorry for what they did to you. They're going to feel bad for themselves. They're going to play the victim because they realize that they need your support. They need what you were giving to them, which is why they attach themselves to you. So it will bother them, but it's not because they miss you. They miss what you are providing to them, but just because they realize it's game over, it doesn't mean they're going to disappear. They will continue to monitor you. They will stalk your social media. They will try to find another source of supply, but they will miss what they had with you. And they will be checking in on you to see if you have something better. They will be comparing themselves to you because it was always a competition with them. They were never trying to work with you as a team. They were never trying to cooperate with you. They saw you as their opposition because they believed you were better than them. So they tried to compete with you. They tried to be better than you by tearing you down. But if you do move on and find something better, it will destroy them. They will be really jealous. But you shouldn't care about how they feel. They never cared about you. Forget about them. Leave them in the dust and live your best life. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.